Welcome to our second release video. We are excited to have you here with us as we introduce the additional features we've been working on for you. As I mentioned in the first video, this one focuses on the enhancements we've made to the IFC import. I'll also provide more details on the improved handling of spaces and discuss the collaborations with MetaRoom and DDS Cut. Let us begin with the update on the IFC import. Dialux provides additional settings to improve the import of IFC models. Users can now choose between a new and a legacy method for importing. These options let you decide how Dialux processes the geometric structure of the IFC model during the import. The new method significantly reduces the number of solid modeling operations, improving stability and often speeding up the import process. This is especially helpful when dealing with complex IFC models. By complex we mean models with a high level of detail, such as those with multiple floors, rooms, walls, windows, doors and roofs. The more detailed the model, the better the new method performs in terms of stability and performance. In many cases, the new method is the best choice for importing such models into Dialux. However, the new method can cause some issues with light visualization. You might notice shadow edges and corners. Light could also leak through contact points, even if the building components are perfectly aligned. The new method is pre-selected by default and is recommended unless you specifically need to switch to the legacy method. The legacy method tries to prevent issues with light visualization, but this comes at a cost. Importing complex IFC models can become unstable, and the import process often takes much longer. With this release, Dialux no longer requires IFC models to include a building. You can now import pure exterior areas as IFC models as well. So much for our improvements to the IFC import. Now let's have a look at what has changed regarding the spaces. Dialux no longer uses its own room detection when importing IFC models. Instead, it directly imports spaces as they are defined in the IFC model. Each space is imported exactly as is, along with its short and long names, which are also used as the room names in the navigation bar. If the IFC model is missing spaces where they would typically be, Dialux will no longer create them automatically. However, you can still manually draw in the missing spaces with Dialux afterwards. Spaces in Dialux are now more flexible. You can adjust them so they are not nested within other spaces, but are positioned next to one another. In addition, spaces that fill an entire room can now be geometrically customized. During the IFC export, Dialux includes all imported spaces and assigns light fixtures to them. This allows you to clearly see which luminaires are in each space in the exported model. This technical model can then be passed on to the OpenBIM workflow or used in other programs. Now let's talk about the results of our collaboration with DDS Cut. When Dialux and DDS Cut are installed and running on the same computer, they can exchange IFC model information in real time. With a single click, DDS Cut can launch Dialux with a building model, allowing lighting designers to plan the lighting in Dialux. The result is then exported as an IFC model, and DDS Cut updates its own model with the luminaires from Dialux. Any changes made in Dialux can be synced with DDS Cut upon re export. The data exchange is based on OpenBIM and IFC. The interface was developed in collaboration with DDS Cut, but it is not exclusive to them. With the release of Dialux Evo 13, the interface will be made publicly available. This means other software developers will also be able to use it and integrate Dialux into their own programs. Okay, and what is the collaboration between Dialux and MetaRoom all about? With the MetaRoom Scan app, you can instantly capture the geometry of a room with its furniture or even entire buildings with multiple floors and rooms with your smartphone. You can then download your scans from MetaRoom Studio through the browser and import them straight into Dialux. This import process is based on OpenBIM and IFC. Spaces are imported with their original names, which are also displayed accordingly in the navigation bar. 
After importing, planners can then add their lighting designs to the scanned rooms. The planning result can then be exported as an IFC partial model for use in the OpenBIM process or other programs. We have one last update for you. Very few planners use the simple indoor planning feature, so it has been removed in this release of Dialogs. Instead, you can now use the room planning option as an alternative. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoy the new version of Dialogs Evo. Happy planning and see you next time.